migraine, depression, low immune system. I'm just reading this amazing study that compares uh, DHEA, which is basically the youth hormone, um, and cortisol, which is a stress hormone. And very often my clients, when I interpret the blood test, they want to have a low cortisol. And I say, no, you don't really want to have low cortisol. You want to have a normal levels of the cortisol in the morning because cortisol helps you to wake up. If it's way too high, it's inflammation in the body. And then it's way too low, it's fatigue, fibromyalgia, burnout. And this study is comparing it to the DHEA. So they're opposing each other. So cortisol, it's the stress hormone, it's like anabolic and uh, anabolic and catabolic hormone. So how they oppose each other. And here, what should be the ratio? So five to one. So you should always have more of this DHEA, the youth hormone, than cortisol. The problem is that both of them are made in the adrenal glands. So when you are stressed all the time, if you imagine it only as a factory that is producing like product on the line, the body will say, look, um, she's under stress. We still need to make the cortisol. So they're not going to make this use hormone, uh, which you actually need for everything. And what do you need it for? Look, if you have low levels of DHEA, uh, stress, uh, immune function is suppressed, uh, migraines, depression, panic disorders, and so on. So all these studies, like you can read it, you will find it on internet. You can see the link in here if you are interested. In it. And I recommend that when you ask your doctor to do the blood tests, that you do DHEA and cortisol, the morning levels, and then you compare it, whether it's five to one or not, and then what to do about it.